Hello, I am Chad at Red Tone Studio. I recently found these Cali IN8 monitors on Facebook Marketplace for a really good price. Now I've been looking for these for a while now and they just happened to pop up the other day and they were less than a half an hour away. So if you know how far out in the sticks I am, that is amazing. So today I'm going to be switching them out and doing some measurements compared to my JBL 308s that I've been using for the last couple of years. So let's get into it. <laughs> First up, let's talk about these JBL 308s. They feature an 8 inch woofer and a 1 inch tweeter with this patented image control waveguide. They have a fairly flat frequency response and I'll show you some measurements from my own room a bit later on. They are a bit shiny, which I've never really liked, but these have been my main monitors for quite some time now. I upgraded to them from the, my previous JBL 305s that I thought were just too small for my massive room here. I've enjoyed them, but I've never felt that the larger version was as big a step up from the five inch version. And I think I was missing some of that low, lower mid range clarity. Now I still produce some of my best mixes on them though, and I can't talk too bad about them. And I'm putting them up for sale. So now let's turn to the Cali N8s. I've had these installed now in the studio for the last couple of weeks and I've been really digging them as I've been getting used to their sound. These come with a slightly larger eight and a quarter inch woofer and also a one inch tweeter that is nestled inside of a mid-range, mid-sized driver. Now they are billed as having a 3D imaging waveguide on the front that is much more muted and unobtrusive compared to these shiny 308s. The Cali N8s, as I mentioned, have a three-way design with a de dedicated mid-range driver, which I think results in a more clarity in that mid-range. Also, the 3D imaging waveguide might just be marketing speak, but I seem to be able to place things in the air left to right much easier. It claims to be a wider sweet spot, but that, the jury is still out in my mind between these two speakers. Now, I've done some extensive measurements in both speakers when in place. There are adjustments to be made on the backs of each of these speakers, and I've done my best to adjust them as flat as possible to begin with and for my room. So, on the Cali speakers, you can see there is a lot of dip switches to set them correctly depending on how you have them mounted or placed. Mine will sit on my own DIY concrete filled speaker stands, and you can see that video up here. These stands are pretty much against the wall, so I will be using that setting on the Cali. For the JBL 308s, I have rolled off the low end by 1.5 dB, as I felt that gave me the best translation into the real world. This is done with a small slider in the back. Also on the back of the JBLs is a volume knob that I had turned up to 8. It is detented so that it can be repeated on both sides. The Cali N8s have a volume knob as well, but it is only detented at 0 dB. So I have to leave that at straight up and down, which is, was a bit of a letdown. I have level matched them in my tests though. As mentioned, I have took several measurements. I started with the JBL 308s of course, and made sure that they were exactly centered and pointed to the middle of the room at the same angle, best I could anyways. I then measured the distance between them, which was 83 inches. Then I set up my measurement microphone at 83 inches from each speaker in an equilateral triangle. I left this microphone here for both tests. It works out well that these speakers are such a similar size. Now I'm using the software REW or Room EQ Wizard to take measurements and a Behringer ECM 8000 mic. REW automatically runs a sweep and I'm doing this for each speaker left, right and both together. I am also setting up my Match 040 microphones horizontally opposed, as if they are ears in the sweet spot. I know there are special microphones for this, but it isn't something I am going to invest in. Later on, I'll play you both sets of speakers so that you can put on your headphones, or if you're listening on current studio monitors, you can get a peek into the differences. So now I'll take down the JBL 308s and set up the Cali IN8s. 
I'll run the same test and also play the same song through them, which I'll play for you later, so be sure to stick around. Now, we'll jump in and have a look at the MDAT files and see the results of both speakers. We are going to start on the SPL tab and look at the overall speaker response. Keep in mind that this is my room and with my own set of issues in response of speakers. This is far from an anechoic chamber, so we will never have a perfectly flat response, at least not until I get my room perfect. You may have noticed that I have done my best to trap as much of the highs and mids with my gobos that I have made. I have a video on them and I'll link below in the description. I put these behind me when I'm mixing to try to make the room smaller or at least less reflective. Now they do little for the super lows. Anyways, back to the graph. The JBLs are in the hot colors, red on the left and orange on the right. The Callies are in the cool colors, dark blue on the left and light blue on the right. So you will see that the lows are quite a bit more pronounced and in the low mids with the Callies, especially between 70 and 200 or so. Now, I have a terrible dip, about 240, that the Cali seem to handle better. As we move up from there, you will see a slightly flatter response as we get to around 7 or 800. And then a bit of a bump here at 4 to 5K on the Cali's. Then for some reason, above 17K, the Cali's really take off. I can't hear anything this high anyway, so it's really no different for me. I'm just too old and I played in a loud country rock band for too long. Now, as we switch over to the distortion tab and click on our first speaker, which is the left JBL, and I'm gonna walk through these each individually. I don't know much about this tab, but I believe I'd like to keep my distortion levels as low as possible, mainly looking at the white and the red lines, the second harmonic and the THD. As you can see, we have significantly more distortion in the JBL 308s compared to the Callies, especially on that left hand side. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with this one or if it's just the way I had it placed, but you can see there's quite a bit of distortion. And as we move to the Callies, there is very little. Now the rest of the tabs don't give much useful information for this type of comparison, but I really like waterfall and the spectrogram for helping me find things wrong in the room. Now if you'd like to see the MDAT file and see for yourself, please reach out and I'll be happy for you to review it. Now before I give my final conclusions, I'd like to play a song for you from the direct recording, then the JBL 308s and then the Kelly IN8s. And I'll be switching back and forth between each one so that you can hear side by side the differences. This may be your first breakup, but I've done this a time or two. Now, all right, can you hear a difference? Let me know in the comments which one you preferred. And then also while you're down there, make sure you hit the like button and hit the subscribe if you haven't already. As a final conclusion, if you are looking for a set of monitors that give you a solid foundation to mix on and don't break the bank, the JBL's 308s are a great choice. If you have a small room, the 305s might be an even better choice. They've served me well for the last couple of years 
and are totally usable getting professional mixes that sound right the first time. But, however, if you could push your budget just a little bit higher or get a good deal on a used set of these speakers, the Cali IN8s are going to be the better choice, in my opinion. To me, they are just a little bit more low in thump and way more clarity in the mid-range. Listening to my finished mixes, I was able to find more things I'd like to change or make better, which to me is the hallmark of a good speaker. Being able to find the little things that stand out as wrong and fix them before the final product is shipped to the customer. Also, being able to place instruments in a more detailed position in the stereo field is much easier and more precise on the Cali IN8s. To me, this is the way to go. Maybe I'll grow out of them someday, but they will be my speaker of choice for the foreseeable future. Now that's it for today's comparison. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more gear reviews and music production tips. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you're using either of these monitors yourself. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. <music>